So just a couple words about what we're doing. Yom HaShoah is, of course, a day of sorrow on which we remember, but also a day on which we reflect on how we have survived. And in this moment of history, too, there is much sorrow, but also much survival. There are afflicted individuals who are surviving and almost a global determination that we as a society will survive as well. So in that spirit of hope, we're going to present for you a four-part a cappella choral setting of Matovu. The familiar line from our morning prayers. What might be less familiar is the line of text which follows, coming from the original source in Parshat Balak. Kim chalim nitayu, like streams stretched out. Keganot ale nahar, like gardens by the river. Kahalim nata adonai, like aloe plants planted by God. Ka'arazim ale mayim, like cedar trees by the water. Perhaps the greatest glimmer of hope right now is that spring is here. <laughs> Green grasses shooting up and riverside trees all in bloom. Around here, the cherry blossoms have been getting brighter by the day. Yeah. As, as uh, Cantor Rice mentioned, this music comes from the Choral Torah, Five Books in Four Parts, which is a song cycle I wrote about a year ago, uh, writing one choral setting for each week's Parsha. I'm very fortunate to be quarantining with my parents, Jonathan Ehrlich and <coughs> Mariano. Come on in the shot, and my girlfriend Lila Rosen. Um, and so we're going to hey be, guys. they'll be singing with me. Uh, and one final thought this is my turn, but we're going to dedicate it to my grandfather, to my mother's father, Albert Modiano, who is a survivor of the Shoah himself. Beautiful. You all be seen? Come on. <laughs> Get in there, Rachel. We can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and who wrote this again? Um, so I wrote the music, and the text comes from Parshat Balak. From okay, wonderful. But you didn't write the text, too? I'm sorry. <laughs> Parshat Balak. Okay. All right, I didn't write the text, too. I can't, I can't say that. <laughs>
Bravo. That was wonderful. That's what somebody said. Oh, Raquel, uh, it must be nice to have a live-in choir. So beautiful. It is. I mean, the family that sings together is, uh, is so blessed. And I think uh, for those of us who have that blessing in our lives, uh, I think it's, it's just amazing to be able to share it. So thank you, all of you, this morning for sharing that. That was wonderful. And it really did sound like spring. It absolutely sounds like spring. <laughs> I think it's very, very nice. That was great, guys. Thank, Thank you so much. You so much.